You want to know what's been harder? Then two 24-hour obstacle course events, one 24-hour run, a 12-hour obstacle course training event, and just physical exhaustion from all the training sessions and all those events that I've been through. The one thing that's been harder, well, there's been multiple things that have been harder, but one of them is facing off with myself. Sitting down in silence, sitting down, observing any emotions and thoughts that may pop up that I've been avoiding. You want to know what's been harder? Ask myself questions that I know is going to derive information from my subconscious mind that has been stored in there from childhood and trauma and, and pain. Facing off with those answers. Sitting down and actually asking myself those questions. So this afternoon, I've been writing pages of information in my Google Drive account. Ask myself these powerful questions that have allowed me to find out the root cause of why I've been indulging in certain actions that do not serve my life. And one of the things that I've learned is that certain habits and addictions and actions, they're not the problem. They are the solution to underlying pain that you may be experiencing. And I've been really finding out today especially what those underlying pains are and what are the beliefs around that? What are the fears? What are the traumas that, that have happened in the past that I've been using things, habits, as a way to distract myself or get this temporary sense of dopamine or this temporary sense of happiness from indulging in these things? And today, from asking myself these questions, I, so today, I haven't actually sat in silence and observed Today has been just all mental. I ask myself these questions, typing them out, and really going within my subconscious. Really going within, ask myself these powerful questions that have allowed me to really find out what's going on. Has it been hard? Hell yes. That's why I say, like, 24-hour events, that's hard. Facing off with yourself, that's harder. It's way more harder to stare yourself in the face and go, you have been the reason why your life hasn't been working out the way that you wanted. You are the reason why you keep indulging in these habits. You are the reason why things aren't working out. You are the reason. You are the... You are the... <sighs> Just taking self-responsibility. You, me, actually saying that, Matt, you are the fucking reason why... You, you, like, you can't blame anybody. It's you. And then one of the things that have been that has been really hard for the ego, right? And this is one. This is something that. This is something, right? A quick, quick little story. This is something that made me um, tear up and laugh. So I was sitting down on my bed here, and let me get this right. So I was sitting down on my bed, and one of the things. So for those of you who don't know, I I have a really big belief in this high. This higher power. I don't say God because as soon as I say that, people form this mental image of what that is. Like this, this dude in this white robe, right? But I believe there's a higher power that guides it all. I, I truly believe that. Do I know it's true? No. Do I have references that may support that belief? Yes. This is one of them. So, uh, I have this fan next to me. Now, I've never really looked at the information on the fan, the words that are on, the, on this fan, right? And I don't even know if it's a sign, like, this is just the way that I interpret it, but it, it, it made me laugh and cry. So, I sat down, after I finished the second last question, I wrote down pages of information. I sat down and I just, I just was just like, <sighs> these actions are way more powerful than me. And I feel like I need help. As soon as I said that, and for me, that, not for me, for the ego, that is hard to accept that I can't always do things myself, that I need to reach out to help, I need to reach out to friends, I need to reach out to coaches, I need to reach out and go, yes, I don't have it all together, please help me. As soon as I said that, I looked over to my fan, I looked on the, on the, uh, on the fan, and it said, click. As soon as I read that, it was as if this higher power was just like, bingo, you got it. You need help, Matt. 
get rid of the ego, drop that ego and go and reach out for help. Because when you reach out and you get support, and I say this to my clients that sharing your wins and sharing your vulnerabilities and sharing with me and everybody else in the group, like you're gonna go so much further. But this was something that I needed to do, to ask for help. So yeah, it was, it was a cool little moment. As soon as I saw that, I just started cracking up. It was as if it was like this sign, because I've never seen that word ever on the fan, and that fan's been in there for a long time. But as soon as I said it, I noticed that. Is it a sign? I don't know. I just interpreted it as a sign that the universe was speaking to me, or this high power was speaking to me. So, yeah. I don't really know where I'm going with this video, but I really hope that this video helped you somehow with something that I said. Um... I'm feeling good. It's uh, 8 p.m. right now. I'm about to go for a walk just to soak all this in because I feel like I've had so many breakthroughs. And at first, I felt like crap because I had to face myself. And then as I started to face myself and write out all these answers and letting out all this emotion, it just feels liberating. And I feel like I want to just have... I've got way more other questions that I need to go into tomorrow. Um, that's just, It's just going to go... It's going to be deep. And uh, today, I feel like I've had enough. I might, come, I might come back and still want to do more, but I feel like I've, I've done a lot today. And I'm just going to go for a walk, just chill out. Um, and yeah, so I love you guys. And uh, by the way, by the end of this year, I'm still taking on, if you haven't been seeing the comments, I'm taking on three uh, clients before the end of the year. And uh, will you be facing off with yourself? Yes. Will I be guiding you through that process? Yes. So... If you do want some help with your own life and get into alignment for goals that you want to create for yourself and getting rid of own habits that you have for yourself, then in the description below, uh, you'll be able to see some information about the Isle Alignment Coaching Program. So you can check it out. I'm going to take on three people before the end of the year. And if you're watching this after the end of the year, you'll still be able to uh, gain access to the coaching. So... And if you, you can just go to mattkarma.com and see the tabs and you'll be able to see all the information there. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And until I see you guys in the very next video, remember to love all living things and most importantly, love thyself.